Hello, my name is McHugh, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different, like I have been doing for the past month. Don't know why I've been keeping chick in my head, but it might be because I've killed already seven wasps in my house? That's a little creepy, and it's all buzzy and buggy now. The brass gone, as I recording this, um, when this will go up, will be about a week away? Yeah. So I needed to do some slight adjustments to some of my cosplay things, and it just seemed like good, easy, a content creation, so I thought I would try it out. One thing I needed to do was repaint this here very real sword. I actually had it cut a little bit more. This part, I'm not sure if you can tell here, was a lot big, bigger, longer, and bulgier. Yeah, I even cut a little bit of these side parts off and rounded them off. Thank you, Grandpa. So when he cut them off, obviously uh, this side was a little bit more brownish than silver for a sword had to be. And also he cut uh, this part off and we recolored this to a spray canned aluminum, aluminum, aluminum color, which was nice in the process of making these adjustments. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell here, but a little bit of this was a little bit uh, funked up. Funked up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I say that so I don't say fuck. Good. So I had to go repaint this. Now I already repainted this side, which uh, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the results. I am gonna miss this nice weird finish. This other silver finish kind of gives the, little, the blade more texture, but uh, uh, it can't be out because um, this is no buenas. No penis. Pretty sure I heard another wasp. So, we're gonna go paint this other side, I guess. This is content. Luckily, I have a great film crew right behind the camera, which will be doing a bunch of different angles for this painting. Ain't that right? Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, man. I really appreciate it. So I had to go buy new paint brushes for this, since I haven't painted since high school. So, for this particular paint job. I knew I needed to make uh, wide strokes and why is this still wet? To get these two paint brushes because for those uninitiated, these would be great for long strokes back and forth and they have a uh, edge right, right, right there so you can effectively do that. I'm getting water everywhere! So this will be used for the majority of the sword and this will be used for the end so I can get those nice crevices in because while this will do the job it is a little bit too bulky for it. Gotta goob it on. Uh, we'll do another dot here. So, I usually like to do a couple coatings before I'm pretty set on what I do. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh shit, you know what, I forgot I need to do the sides, the like the actual in-between edges, like right here along that side and on the other side. So. That sucks. Not sure how that's gonna work out. Look at this. You're watching a YouTube video and it's pretty much almost gonna be watching paint dry. No matter what, you're probably gonna see some brush strokes within the paint as it dries. That can't be helped, at least not to my knowledge. Look at that. Look at that. That looks pretty damn good. That's a pretty nice coat. Although probably when it dries, I'll see a lot of the brush, brush, brussel sprouted strokes that I have on it. So I will probably reapply the paint there. I might as well do the sides as well. I might as well goop some right there. This is probably a horrible, horrible idea. Happy little trees, happy little birds. Paint that edge. We're edging here, folks. We're edging. I don't think that's the right term that I want to use for this video. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be good at a distance so that when you take pictures, you can't tell. Backside bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. There's an annoying crevice that I cannot reach. Like, when you got a poop in your butt still, you gotta try to wipe for it, but you just can't find the right angle for it. The tricky part about this end piece is that you can't go all gung-ho about it because you don't want this part and the new color to bleed in on the handle. Cause that'd be no buenas. What I think I'll do is get right up to it and then use this brush. Fuck. Just get right up there. Right up there. Right up there. Cool. Let this bad bad boy aside. Since 
this is little and not exactly like continue on with the giant uh, paintbrush. The strokes are going to look kind of shitty way up near this hilt. So I got to do my best job to try to blend it all together. Dab. As long as I get the near the base part as nice looking as possible while still looking like it maintains a straight aerodynamic feeling and still gets the general across where it doesn't look like just a bunch of brush strokes you can see. Kind of been bad. First coat done. I will come back to this and uh, we'll see how that goes. <sighs> New day! Kind of forgot that I was leaving this out to dry and did some other stuff. But it looks like this side needs a little bit more stuff on it. I can kind of see the loose parts of the paint and a little bit less of the brush strokes. Not sure if you can see any of this. And uh, looks like I got some uh, paper towel crap on here. Probably will buff that out later. But yeah, oh, not too bad. Well, I got the main part, which is this end piece down uh, relatively well. I think I won't be needing the smaller brush now. It's a little bit crusty for some reason. I thought I'd dry this out. Well, guess not. So, this will be using a uh, big boy here. Some a little bit more chunkier one right there. Enough to kind of buff out all this other loose ends here. I think it should be pretty good. 